Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to make uh, this cool 3D text effect that you see in the thumbnail. Grab the type tool first and write whatever you want to write. I'm going to go with love. I'm going to go with a bolder font and reduce... Oh, not the font size. The spacing in between the top part and the bottom one. I'll change its color uh, to something like a light gray. You can choose whichever color you want. You can go with any color. Um, then we're going to go to Effect, 3D and Materials, Extrude and Bevel. And now the 3D and Materials window will pop up. And uh, we're using the extrusion method. So we can decide the depth. I'll go with maybe 300. Let's try it out. Um, and then in the rotation, I'm going to use a preset and I'm going to go with towards the bottom. You're going to see isometric top. It's the second to last option. And that's what it will give you. So the view from the top, which is really nice. I'm actually think I'm going to, I mean, want this to be a little less. So probably go with 200 pixels and uh, now you can go to the lighting effects I'm gonna go with standard and click here to render your image or your vector and you can also you can change the intensity of the light the which way it rotates um, the height softness and the intensity of it. I'm gonna check the shadow box to add some shadows as well and I can also decide um, depending on where I put I place my light, light source the shadow is gonna change automatically so you get a realistic view of how the shadow is gonna be. You can change the distance and the how wide you want your shadow to be how like fuzzy and soft you want it. And that's basically it. You can edit the render settings over here. And uh, obviously a lower quality is going to take less time to render versus a high, really high quality, which is going to take quite a bit to render. So I'm going to go with the low quality. But if you want um, HD like renders, you can go with a high quality. I'm just going to click on render. And as you see, it already rendered it super fast. And that's basically it. It's super easy. I really love the new 3D functions Illustrator has. Um, it's so cool and so user friendly. You can like learn this in minutes. Um, so go ahead and check out um, all the other options. You can play around with those. You can get some really awesome stuff. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you like my content. Also go follow me on Instagram. I post daily designs there as well. Linked in the description below is going to be my gradient packs and texture packs. So if you're interested in those, go check them out. And yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.